Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks, and I've done several videos on how to make an edge light. Then somebody sent me an email and they said they didn't really understand the edge light and how it would work on just like this heart. They've done flat, and you could, you could um, tell you what, let's move this out of the way and let's group this, control G and hit P. You could just do that in a perfect shape of acrylic. And, and have your edge light down here, you know, like by a, by a piece that's eight by eight. And there's people out there that sell edge light that fit into a slot, a piece of plastic. But the, the edge lights today are in an edge light base and just have a little slot. So as you see, we, we don't have anything up here in our weld tool. If we go to object group and ungroup it, as soon as we do that, we get this. We get the boundary. So I've created a boundary around that. And what you do, I'm going to go ahead and move this out, move this back. And you probably wouldn't want it right on the edge. So we're going to go to effect and contour. We're going to contour to the outside with rounded corners. Let's say 0.125, just like an eighth of an inch. We'll do it in a, in a black. It doesn't really matter. And hit apply. And it actually did it to the inside. So we need to go to the outside because you want that on the outside, and then go to object, con break the contour part. And then probably the easiest thing to do is go ahead and move, just delete that uh, part. We don't need that. And then <clears throat> take a rectangle, the size of your slot. Let's say your slot is uh, one and a half inches, 1.5. And then just take it and hit P and put it in the center of the page. What I would suggest to do is to round off the corners a little bit, like one, two, five, to give it a round shape to fit into your slot a little better. It's still gonna have the thickness. While holding down the control button, just move it wherever you want it on your edge light. And then all you have to do is weld that and turn that into a red line and make sure it's a hairline to cut. And then when you move this over, that's what your edge light is going to look like. So the light is going to shine up through here. And if you've never made one, they're pretty cool. Uh, they illuminate the room a little bit. So your edge light would be right in here, shining up. And a heart would work pretty good. Some items that would go way off the light doesn't get to them, but I believe the heart would work. And uh, only the stuff that the laser touched is going to illuminate. And a lot of people will do this on the back of the acrylic, it doesn't really matter. You're using a clear, clear, clear acrylic anyway, and it should work quite well. Just remember how far this is going to stick into your apparatus. When you get it, they'll tell you what size slot you need to cut. But rounding off the corners to me will help you put it in and out, and it's not going to reflect any more light or less light, I wouldn't think. Anyway, I hope that answered her question and thank you for watching.